It started about 18 months ago when um, I turned up, uh, well, well, I presented myself at the Perfleet Trust along with my sister. Um, I, at the time, I was homeless. My sister accompanied me because I, I weren't too sure about it, to be honest with you, not to start with. And um, I'd never really accepted any help from anyone, really, uh, in relation to anything in my life. I was just sick of it, sick of the whole lot of it. I didn't have anywhere to live, and um, so I was injecting amphetamines for about 18 years. I was injecting amphetamines every four hours of the day. Every four hours I was having a hit of, a hit of amphetamine, yeah, speed. And um, I was doing that every four hours. And I, I was only sleeping about three days a week. So I was in a right state, I was ill. I, I, I couldn't, I didn't have any way of giving up the amphetamines, not while I was homeless, you see, while I was like stuck in a rut. Because while I was homeless, I had nowhere really uh, to go to, to sort the matter out, you know. I, I, I had to be, I had to be awake or, or on the drugs in order to be able to uh, survive, you know, and, and, and live on the streets and what have you. It took about four weeks to go through the process, but I got, there was a vacancy come up in one of their houses and I was offered counselling. And, and so I've been, uh, I, I gave up drugs, knocked the drugs on the head. I went to a lot of drug groups and had, had some drug counselling and a um, bit of therapy in that. So I've been on them that many years. That was all I knew. So um, I managed to give them up. I ain't took a drug for 15 months now. Just all the help, all the help I got from the Perfectly Trust, to be honest with you. Oh, you know, it was all in the right place at the right time, and uh, I managed to managed to get the better of my problems. From my own heart, I, I don't think I'd have been alive now, or, or or perhaps wouldn't have been for much longer. That's the that's the God's honest. That's that's the the business end of it. I don't think I'd have been alive. I'd have probably been. I'd have probably died.